Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Today we look at the upper limb nerve. The upper limb nerve integrity test. Upper limb nerve and the integrity test. So first we look at the ulnar nerve. So what is very special about the ulnar test or the ulnar nerve? So under the ulnar nerve, the test it includes there is a book test, there is a card test, as well as a fromet test, fromet sign. To be specific, as well as the e-gava, e-gava test. So book, card, format, as well as the e-gava test. So what are the muscles associated with each? So let's write it clearly. So book is associated. Book test is associated with the adducted pollicis. Then comes the card test. The card test is associated with the palmar interosseae. Then the fromet test. The fromet sign. This is associated with the flexor pollicis. This is the flexor pollicis substitutes for the adductor pollicis. Flexor pollicis substitutes substitutes for the adductor pollicis. Then we look at the e-gava. So what is meant by the e-gava test? E-gava test it measures the di. That is a dorsal interosseal. So the book is nothing but the adductor pollicis. The card is nothing but the palmar interosseae. From its end is nothing but the flexor pollicis substitutes of the adductor pollicis. And Egawa test is the dorsal interosseae. So this was all about the ulnar nerve. Next we'll move on to the median nerve. So under the median nerve, the test it includes the ape thumb. So the ape thumb test it is associated with the thena muscles. Next, we have the pen test. Pen test is associated with the abductor. There's an abductor pollicis brevis. Next is the presence of the pincer test. The pincer grasp. The pincer grasp is nothing but the kilo, the kilo nevin sign. Pincer grasp is nothing but the kilo nevin sign. So, what does this include? So. The pincer grasp it includes a flexor digitorum profundus FTP plus the FPL. So flexor digitorum pollicis, the flexor pollicis longus, that is involving the anterior interosseous nerve. And lastly, we will look at the pointing index. So what is meant by the pointing index? So pointing index is nothing but the Oshner. There is the Oshner's clasp. Is Oshner's clasp or the benediction? So Oshner's clasp or the benediction test. So what are the muscles which is involved in the Oshner's clasp and the benediction test? So the muscles, if you see what is involved, it includes the flexor distorum superficialis. So FTS plus the lateral half. So there's a lateral half of the flexor distorum profundus. So there's FTS, flexor digitorum superficialis, as well as the lateral half for the flexor digitorum profundus. Next, we'll look at uh, the radial nerve. So the radial nerve, the test which is involved, it includes the thumb and the finger drop. So there's presence of the thumb as well as the finger drop. And next, there is also the presence of the wrist drop. This presence of the wrist drop. So what is the muscle involved with the thumb and the finger drop? It is going to be the extensor. The thumb and the finger drop, it is going to be the extensors. So extensors means the posterior interosseous nerve. Then when you look at the wrist drop, what is the muscle which is involved? The muscles involved in the wrist drop is going to be the extensors of the wrist. 